Welcome to Electro Online. In this video and the ones to come afterwards, we're going to show you how we utilize the Schrodinger equation to solve for the path or the existence or the probability of finding a particle in a particular location. So here we're starting with the time independent Schrodinger equation. A few videos ago, we showed you how we separated the regular equation between the time dependent and the time independent. And there's a lot of applications where we can use the time independent Schrodinger equation. So here we have it. To recognize what's inside the equation, notice that here we have the wave equation in each of the three terms the two terms on the left side of the equation and the one term on the other side of the equation. Remember that the wave equation simply represents the probability density amplitude, not actually the probability equation. And so therefore we will have to manipulate it. We'll have to multiply the wave equation by the complex conjugate. And then we have to normalize it to find the probability function of the particle. Also notice on the left side here on the first term, here's the mass of the particle. Over here we have the potential energy of the particle and here we have the total energy of the particle. But you have to realize when we take the second derivative with respect to position of the wave equation that will yield the term k squared. Now remember that k is the wave number of the particle. The particle will act like a wave. And if we then multiply the h bar squared divided by 2m by k squared, we'll end up with this term, which is the kinetic energy of the particle, which is equal to p squared over 2m, or in other words, the kinetic energy. So notice that the Schrodinger equation, which is time independent, simply states that we have the kinetic energy times the wave function plus the potential energy times the wave function equals the total energy of the particle times the wave function. And that's the general structure of the Schrodinger equation. Now, what we have to do in order to solve different problems that we're going to show in the, in the videos to come, we'll have to determine the kinetic energy of the particle, the potential energy of the particle, and the total energy of the particle, place that into the Schrodinger equation, and then solve for the wave equation. Once we have the wave equation, we can then solve for the probability function, and then we can actually draw out where we think the particle will be and what the probability will be where the particle will be. So that's the strategy. So now that we understand all the various parts of the equation, we're now going to show you how to actually use it. 